Good morning, everyone. So today we're at a Peugeot. It's a Peugeot, Peugeot 208 2018. The car is, we think it's a three-cylinder. Don't know the engine size, but the engine code is HMR. Hotel Mike Romeo. So customer's complaint. Customer's complaint is it's failed its MOT here in the UK and it's failed for emissions. Now, the engine management light is not on when you start it, but the spanner light is on. So we've scanned it using top dot. the codes. So, most important, we have nothing, let me see, nothing in the engine ECU. So, but we'll, we'll have a quick skimmy of the rest. Fault and identify mechanical electronic key. That'll not be a problem. Fault and unlock, no. Windscreen, number, engine starts. Well, number of engine starts and restart count are full. Mm. Tire under inflation, that would be TPW, TP, tire pressure monitor, TPMS. Fault in the status of the seat, that will not be a problem. External temperature data fault, that will not be a problem. None of this will be a problem. Mm. So we'll just go right into here. Oh, here we go. Right, we need to work out. The engine management system at hand. The first one is electronic diesel control. I'll not be that because this is a petrol. So let's just go for this. This looks the most up to date one. Oh my goodness, then we have another three options. So let's just take the first one. So is it EP6 or EP3? Let's have a look. Usually, it usually tells you here. Roddy's doing the research, so. Yeah. Nothing coming up, so let's just take the top one. So read fault codes. Well, it's not that one because we've got an error communicating. So. So it's eleven ninety nine. Did you say? So twelve twelve hundred cc. Right, I'll get back what to you. What do you do? I've no idea what engine management systems on this, and the very fact that we've not got a fault code, we're just going to jump into generic OBD. But first of all. Let's clear out these faults and uh, see what comes back. Even sit, sitting here at idle, that looks excessive shake even for a three cylinder engine. So, oh, I think we miss. So, there's some of the data pads there. So, let's look absolute throttle position. Oop, that looks okay. No pest accelerate, Bar barometric pressure 14.5 psi spot on, calculated load, that'll be about right at idle. Catalyst temperature, oh look how hot that is, no matter, command, command, distance travelled, uh, engine cool at 161 degrees, so we need to get up to 212, I wonder if we can change this with this. It's Fahrenheit isn't it? Uh, Must be some way of changing it, eh? No sure of that yet. Engine RPM, engine run time, that looks good. Right, equivalency ratio. So if we're at one's perfect, one or above lean, one and below. Ah, there we go. Open loop fault. It's in, well, sorry, we're not got a fault, we're in open loop because we're lean. So you can see we're commanding one. So if it was under one, it'd be rich, but we are definitely lean. So maybe an air leak or something like that. Don't know. Ignition timing. Uh, that looks okay. Air intake temperature sensor. Well, we've been sitting here with the hood closed. Could be. Intake manifold pressure. Aha, uh -huh, here's a difficult one. 14.7 PSI in intake manifold. Is that a wee bit high? Should it really? No sure. Need to do the conversion. Long term fuel trim zero. That's off. Oxygen sensor. Uh, oxygen sensor two, so it's stuck. So I'm sure when you give that the gun, that should go positive, and it makes it rich. So it's is it trying to rich it up? Don't know. Or short term fuel trim zero. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Definitely lean. Want to get the gun ready? Right. 
So that's a positive milliamp reading. And when you lay off, it shoots back up. Get the initial gun, Roddy. So he gives it initial gun, it goes down. But it goes into the minus, so you would think that's adding fuel when it's above, when it's in the positive. Let's see if we're out open loop yet. That we're still in open loop. And we're still lean. I think we should do the conversion first. <coughs> for the the manifold. Let's the try that. Conversion here. <laughs> I'll get myself a bit muddled up here. So if we convert 18 inches of mercury into PSI, that gives us 9. So I'm doing something wrong here. There should be something come off. Or some figure has to come off. So maybe that maybe that figure's okay. I'm not really sure. But here's one thing, right? See, we're, we're sitting with key on engine off. So we're at atmospheric, which is 14.36 PSI or 14.5 PSI. And if we go up to our barometric, these two figures agree. So there ain't a problem in that, the sensor. It's just I'm wondering if the sensor's low enough. Eh, probably better to put a gauge on it. But we'll go try the snap-on tool, see if we get any more meaningful figures. Still working on the theory for conversions for inches of mercury to PSI, but never mind. So we dumped into our mode 6. So look, misfire on deep cylinder 1. So it says OK. So it says ex exponential, exponential, is that right, Rudy? Exponential. exponential, weighted moving average misfire counts for the last 10 driving cycle. So it has four. So does that mean it's had four misfires? No sure. And it says it can count between zero to 65,000. So we go to number two. What the data there? It says four as well. Number three. Says four as well, and we know it's not got a four, a four cylinder. But if we go into that, it says zero. So we're no further forward with that. Right, we put the trusted vacuum gauge on it, and we just ported it right into there where it comes off for the brake booster. Now, I'm trying to remember the theory of that. What does a oscillating vacuum gauge mean? I mean, we're going between fifteen to eight, twenty, I would say. Mixture problems, <laughs> we agree with. But at least we're in the ballpark for the inches of mercury. There's a spark plug, and it is lean. You can see that it's lean. But they all run lean nowadays. Mm. Okay. Why the shaky, shaky? So we we read up about a fluctuating uh, vacuum gauge need, needle, and it said in the book that means it's either too rich or too lean. So we agree that it's too lean. So I spoke to the guy in the parts department at Peugeot to see where this canister canister purge solenoid valve is. He couldn't actually find it, and we can't find it either because we're thinking that's the most common culprit for being too lean. Uh, subtly. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to take this a run. But I do know the manufacturer's data is not very meaningful for us at this point. You better just go into generic OBD and I'll show you that again. But it's lean. Here we go again. Equivalence, equivalence ratio 1.133. That means it's lean. We're still in open loop. We're still looking for one. Our PSI, we think that's in the ballpark. So we'll leave that. Long term is zero because I had to clear the codes. That's still showing it's a wee bit lean because it's adding milliamps to it. Our downstream is reacting. And then that's the type of fuel it's using, so. Oh. But the very fact we have open loop and high is a genuine lean condition. Sorry to keep repeating myself, but... <laughs> It's always the wee awkward ones 
the subtle ones that catch the most. Right, let's take it around. We check the canister purge solenoid, which is down the back here, along between the inlet manifold, or just underneath the inlet manifold. Now that's what it looks like. That one's off a of Vauxhall. So what we done, the pipe that was coming from the tank, we took it off, and at idle we put our finger over it, and there was no vacuum. So this part is not our problem. So what we're going to do now, this is driving us insane, we're going to smoke test the intake manifold to see where it could be air leak. The only other thing I could think of, and I've seen it in America and in the USA with flex fuel, when they change the fuel. So we've now changed from E10 to E, is it 5? Are we on E5? 5, five and then use 10. Aye, uh, is it E5 to E10 or vice versa? And I was wondering if the car maybe got a bit mixed up with that. Would that be equivalent to flex fuel? I do not know. But, uh, difficult. I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but see down there, there's a little valve and that was not properly seated. See that one there? So it's got a one-way diaphragm on it, so it draws, well the engine must draw that in. I don't know. Just for your note, that goes in there. Here's a strange thing. See when we take the revs to 1200, right, and it goes into default mode. Default mode, and you know that when the fan comes on. So we have it, we now can change it to go rich. This is weird, so let's cycle the key. Oh, before we... Here's another thing. Look at the vacuum in this. Quite a bit of vacuum. We're going to cycle the key to get the fan to go off. Drive me insane. Back in the open loop. I went and put the good fuel in it. And I think that solved the problem, because look at this. We're now in closed loop. We weren't in that before. And I think, look, look at the injector on time. It was up at 70, and now we're doing it 50. That is unbelievable. So, so in the downstream, oh, it hits lean, oh, it's still staying lean state right enough. But... I've never seen that going to closed loop before. So let's go back to generic OBD. Then this canister loads down at 42%, so that's that slits some out as well. Let's go back into generic, but my goodness, I can't believe these figures. It's two, 20, uh, 0 0.2 a millisecond off it. OBD, closed loop, bingo, and there's, there's our equivalency. We're back. Mm. There you go. That's perfect. Do not put the good put the good fuel in it. Do not use E10. Use E5. Unbelievable. It's a fix. So you can see your oxygen reading at idle. The current is look. Zero, that's what we want to be at, zero. That's absolutely perfect. That's unbelievable, the difference quality fuels made to that. Where else was... Uh, off. I've still no... Well, there you go. There's a good figure for us. Our intake's at 4.64 PSI, so we'll remember that. And I would believe that our vacuum gauge will no longer be uh, erratic. Uh, closed loop, beautiful. 
beautiful and you can see that the the evap's putting some in as well that's us fix